office says its independence is being threatened by a new bill in the unicameral. That's LB 1417, and it aims to consolidate numerous boards and commissions across the state. KETV Newswatch 7's Maddie Augustine spoke with the Foster Care Review Office, who says they were blindsided by the new bill. This bill came as a surprise to us. Um, we had no advance notice or warning, no one from the governor's office or from the legislature talked to us about this. Legislative Bill 1417, introduced on January 18th by Tom Brewer on behalf of the governor, is 101 pages long of proposed changes to numerous boards, committees, and commissions throughout the state, including the Foster Care Review Office. The sections that pertain to the Foster Care Review Office would uh, place the FCRO under the authority of the Nebraska Children's Commission. A group the FCRO currently oversees. We provide administrative support to the Children's Commission and uh, I'm the direct supervisor of the two commission employees. Section 25 of LB 1417 also gives the Nebraska Children's Commission the power to select the executive director of the FCRO and the FCRO Advisory Committee. Both are currently appointed by the governor and approved by the legislature after a public hearing. It would lose that check and balance of having uh, the legislature kind of be a check and balance to the governor. Essentially, it, it cuts um, the Nebraska citizens out of that decision making. Monica Gross, executive director of the FCRO says, as the bill stands, the FCRO will lose its independence. It, kind of neutralizes uh, the impact of the Foster Care Review Office and our citizen reviewers. Impacting the office's ability to provide independent oversight over the Department of Health and Human Services and the court system. We are an authoritative voice for the children. And without that independence, uh, you're likely to get um, cookie cutter recommendations or cookie cutter case plans uh, for children and families. In an email to Nebraska's lawmakers, Ronald Dupel, a 16 year long FCRO board member says, quote, the FCRO needs additional influence to oversee the foster care system, not reduced ability. Gross says the change in oversight will leave a lasting impact. Children are likely to linger in foster care longer and not achieve permanency. Costing taxpayers more and those individuals not being able to really, um, you know, uh, achieve their potential. Leaving Gross and the rest of the FCRO working to prove how vital their independence and transparency is. I have contacted the governor's office and have not heard back. Maddie Augustine reporting. Now Gross says she would like to work with the governor's office to revise the proposed changes in the bill. KETV Investigates did reach out to the governor's office. We've not heard back. Should the bill pass as is, it would go into effect in July of 2025.